yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, it is Miracle coming to you live across the land. No, <laughs> no, no, seriously. Hey guys, what's up? It is Miracle. I'm coming to you again with another makeup tutorial. This particular look is going to also be for one of uh, another personality in my video leave it at hello you'll see a clip somewhere around here make sure you check it out if you haven't already make sure you stream the single buy the single do whatever you need to do to get your life right because if you haven't you're disrespectful with this look i'm kind of going for a more free-spirited um maybe a little bit of earthy girl type of look and it's going to be um more red really pop a color in the eyes i haven't really decided about the lips so we're just gonna pray on it and keep moving but yeah i want to really do like a smoky red look so without further ado let's get right into it it's a truly miracle all right so the skin has already been prepped I've already moisturized, I've already did all that jazz. So I'm just gonna go in and put on my um, Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer. You definitely need primer, honey. Especially for this video shoot. Honey, I got a little one, two step and we just gonna pray. You gotta keep this <laughs> mattifying look, okay? So again, I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty um, Curl Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder, and it is in the shade Cashew, just to go over that primer to really set um, my face, make sure I don't get oily too soon, because I do have oily combination skin. If you are um, struggling with that, this is a huge help. It does give you a couple hours more before you get completely oily, so just get your life in order. Now we're gonna focus on the eyes. I do my eyes first. If y'all can't do that, I'm sorry, but that's just what I have to do, honey. I have to get her right. And if I have anything that I need to correct, I can go ahead and do that with the foundation, concealer, all that, you won't even see it. Whereas if you put your foundation on and you have eyeshadow that has a lot of fallout, it's gonna be even harder to correct that. Some people can do that. I can do it, but I just prefer not to. To me, that's just extra work. So, I mean, whatever floats your boat, it doesn't float mine, so. <laughs> I gotta make sure that these eyebrows are in check. So let me go ahead, use a spoolie to really brush them out. And then we're gonna go ahead and sculpt the eyebrows. Well, draw on the eyebrows. Make sure you don't rush the eyebrows, honey. They're not going anywhere, because if you rush her, she might be disrespectful and we don't have time for that. The eyebrows can make or break a look. Oh gosh. And now I'm gonna go in with my smudge brush and actually I, so I decided I wanted to be free for this look and I'm actually, instead of using brown to fill them in, I'm going to use like a, a plum, sort of say, not completely. So this is the Ace Beauty Scarlet Dust Palette. And I am going to be using the shade Nocturnal. Um, it won't look too crazy. Trust me, I've done it before. You actually don't look crazy with um, color brows. It's just all about how you sculpt the brows. And it's just gonna really give me that pop. It's gonna be very subtle, but if you see me in lighting, honey, it's like, oh. She knows what she's doing, okay? We're just gonna go in there. Not too much though. Okay, so this one doesn't have a lot of fallout, like it, it cleans it up. So we're just gonna, we're gonna make it work. We're going to make this work, okay? Period. Now it looks crazy so far, but trust me, once we get to blending with the spoolie, we are gonna be Gucci, okay? Period. Because if, if not, we'll just take them off. I refuse to go out here looking crazy, okay? And then too, I'm gonna put the brow gel on it. The brow gel has a natural brown tint to it. So it's gonna all come together. Don't be scared to step out on faith. All right, and then we got the brow gel. This is the Brow Bar by Rima. Just gonna get these eyebrows under control, honey. All right. So it's 
subtle. You probably won't even be able to see it on the camera. But once you get into that good lighting, honey, you're Gucci. I typically would use a lighter eyebrow pencil with that. It really makes it stand out more. If you don't have it, it won't do anything. Just make sure you're really blending everything together. And so now we're gonna focus on the concealer. Y'all already know this will make or break the look. I kind of just line the outline of it on my brows and just kind of go from there. Again, you don't want to rush the brows because you can easily sculpt it and nick it and then it's just going to be more work to fix it. Alright, so we got one brow, let's work on the other. These twists are her trying to make cameos. Calm down. All right, and then from here, we're just gonna bring down the concealer over the lid to really prep the lid for the, the shadows. Mm, and already I can see I'm gonna need to put a little bit more because it's not, it's already kind of dried down. When that happens, just put a little bit. You don't need a lot. Just a little goes a long way. Two dabs, we good. We should be good. I'm gonna just go back in and fill it just a little bit more. Cause I kind of nicked some areas. I'm going to set the concealer on my eyelids with my setting powder. Just gonna dab. All right, so we're looking real good at Ashy right now. Like I mentioned before, I like to at this point, put my lash glue on my lashes. Again, I'm using the Baddington lashes and using the Kiss glue, the Kiss lash glue. Okay, so just like we did before with the eyeshadow look, we want to build on the smoky look. We don't wanna just go right in. We don't wanna go in and have the red smack dab on the lids and then you just look like a clown. So you have to build and you have to have those crease colors first. So with that being said, I'm gonna go in with something lighter first. I think I'm going to go in with my Dominique Cosmetics Celestial Thunder palette. She's the go-to, this palette is amazing. I'm going to be using the Lunar Eclipse color. It's a lighter color so that um, it can really uh, bring out the red that I will be using later on. Make sure you use your blending brush, okay. It's gonna be a little light at first. It's gonna be exciting, you know? This one, she's gone with the wind. And now, I wanna go with a slightly darker shade. I'm gonna go in with the Ace Beauty um, Scarlet Dust Palette. And I'm gonna go in with this color, Crimson. Even though it's definitely not crimson, but you know, whatever. She's not giving me the color payoff that I need. But we're just gonna do the same thing on the, the right side because whatever we do on the left, we have to do on the right so that it, it's matching or else you're gonna look like a clown. So. And we're still building anyway, so we don't want it to look too crazy, but this is giving me more of an ashy look. So we're just gonna blend this out as much as possible and move on to the next color because that's not what I was going for. Then I'm gonna go in with the color um, shade. <laughs> it's what it's called. That's why I went to color. 
I know we're keeping it pretty light right now, but we have to get these um, transition colors in first before we can go in with the darker shades so that it can really bring the entire look together. And don't even worry about fallout, we can fix it with the foundation later. And now I'm gonna go in with the shade Storm Dust over here. And really get this in the crease. And now I'm gonna go for a deeper color just to make that red really pop. Um, the deeper hues. I'm, I don't wanna go with Sangria. I'm gonna try Sangria first and see how that starts off. Sorry, starts off. If I don't like it, I'll just stop. go in with nocturnal up here so it's not going to be super rosy but it is going to be a form of that smoky red and we're only putting these in the creases all right in the moment that we have all been waiting for Let's go ahead and get that red going. And I'm going to use my, my actual eyeshadow brush and we're gonna pack that on. I'm using a Morphe palette. This palette has gone through. So we're not gonna put that on camera because that'll call me out. Um, but this, I will tell you what palette it is. It is the Second Nature 350, well, 3502 um, palette. Just find your fiery red and do what you can, honey. Do what you can. Like this palette has really gone through so much. I can't even hold it up because she's been in the song for that long. This is the red that we're about to apply. Don't get scared. Just go slow if you're not. If you don't feel like you're completely ready, just go slow, okay? Um, she's not paying off the way I want her to, so we're gonna have to literally sweep this on in a minute. gonna put a little bit of powder underneath just because since I'm using red it could smear so this way I can just sweep it off after I'm done this is interesting I never really had this issue with Morphe's shadows where it kind of uh, sticks and my lid is definitely dry from the concealer, so I'm gonna have to work with this a little bit more um, to really get this to marry. And actually, since she wants to be disrespectful, I'm gonna actually spray it with my setting spray so that the shadow can stick more. Okay, so I had to move to a red that had more um, sh shimmer to it because the regular red just was not hitting and this is working much better. Okay, so after a lot of craziness later, the eyeshadow is finally paying off, but what I'm gonna go do now is go back in and soften these areas so that it can all marry each other and it's all well blended. Uh, let me just add a little bit more over here. So I'm gonna go back in with my Celestial Thunder palette and use Lunar Eclipse, the lighter one, just to really soften those areas, okay? I'm 
gonna go back in with Sangria. And now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and give myself a nice little cat eye. And so now we're gonna apply the lashes. Don't worry, I'm gonna put some mascara on my actual lash since so much of the fallout um, did get on my natural lash. But other than that, usually I don't put on mascara because my lashes throw up gang signs. And we don't wanna be disrespectful, so. See how easily that went on because I allowed the lashes to dry down. So then I'm gonna use my Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Don't you just love a good lash? It really brings the look together. All right, now we're gonna work on the foundation, finish the rest of this face. Um, I'm just gonna sweep away this excess powder. I forgot to do this side, but it's okay. Also, my foundation is Lancome uh, Tant Ido Ultra Wear, and it's in the shade uh, 520 suede uh, W. I'm going to go in with my Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch Concealer in the shade 420. And with this stuff, this is really helping. Um, if you did get a lot of fallout, like I did, really help correct whatever mess you could have made, really bring that look to life. This particular um, look, I'm not really worried about the fallout that's under eye because I will be putting shadow under there as well. And then I'm gonna go in with a darker concealer. This is in the shade 498 to um, contour. I'm not gonna do too, too much because she still is a flower child. She still is free. She is earthy, whatever she wants to be. And we still wanna have that innocence to it. So just a little, just to sculpt the face and really bring my natural color to light because I am darker around the perimeter of my face and lighter on the inside but other than that we're not gonna do too much and then I'm gonna go in with bronzer anyway and that's gonna really give me more definition so we don't we like I said we really don't need to do too much on this step all right so we did just enough like I said, not too much to really bring this look to life. And then I'm gonna go in with my setting powder again and set this concealer. Oh, I love this setting powder. The little that I put on really does go a long way and it really smooths out the skin. It gives me that flawless finish that I'm looking for. I'm gonna go in and put my bronzer on. I want 
also go back in with just a little bit more concealer to get more of that flawless finish. I saw some areas that just weren't um, completely flawless. So. All right, and now I'm gonna take my smudge brush and um, get more of the red so that I can do the under eye and really get that final smoky look. Take my eyeshadow brush and just kind of sweep it to make it more messy. And then I'm going to get my angled brush and go in with black. Um, eyeshadow as a liner for my waterline. And then from there, I'm gonna use a red blush. It's an old MAC blush, and I don't think they sell anymore. Um, but just find any red blush, and I'm just gonna put lightly um, some blush on my cheeks. We don't wanna overdo it. I think for the lips, I'm just gonna go in with a pink, almost nude liquid lipstick, just slightly, and then put a gloss over it just to bring this final look together. This is the Appeal Ultra Cream Liquid Lipstick. Um, I got this in a BoxyCharm box. get a gloss and I'll go over it with Vintage by Jessica Leapskin. Leapskin? Right here. This shade is Pink Sequin. And then to really finish this look, I'm gonna go on with my setting spray. And we're pretty much done. So I'm gonna go ahead and get changed, get ready for the shoot to really bring this faithy girl to life. Uh, stay tuned. And we're back. <laughs> Did you miss me? So this is the final look. We've gotten more flower girly, earthy, more wild. This is the personality I really wanted to go for. And she's gonna be very free. You always have that friend that's off. They're not completely off, but they're just a little bit off. Yeah, so this, this is what I wanted to go for. I hope y'all liked it. Let me know how y'all feel about it in the comments. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And make sure you follow me and my artist page on all social media platforms. I am Naturally Miracle. And I'll see y'all next time. Oh, make sure you go and watch my video, leave it a hello. I put a lot of work into these videos, period. And make sure you stream the song. Make sure you buy the song. Get your life right. You ain't got nothing else to do. It's a pandemic. What else you gotta do? What else you gotta do? but get my strings up, period. I'll wait.